Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I'm Count Christo, joined as always by my friend Chu. Say hello, Chu. Hey, everybody. And uh, he's looking a bit bigger at the moment. He's up to, what's your realm size at the moment? 49 to my 39, which uh, I'm not overjoyed. Not overjoyed by this. Uh, <laughs> potential threat to my west. I do currently have a substantially larger army, but uh, yeah. no, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So. I can only raise like seven. Or 8,000, maybe? Yeah. I think now? Yeah. I think. Oh, no, we couldn't take France. Okay, so here's a useful thing to learn. Look at France. Uh, cl right click on uh, Paris, you'll get the, get the king. The mm -hmm. other thing you can do is just right click anywhere on France. Oh, this is a good interface thing to know. Okay, so right click on uh, Bordeaux. Uh. Down here in the southeast. So, southwest. No, yeah. northeast. Excuse yeah, me. there we go. The little, yeah. little boy. You got Duke Borel of Aquitaine. Now, notice this mm -hmm. interface. You've got his heir to bottom left, his regent to his bottom yeah. right, his wife to his right, and, which then, the liege. and then his liege. So you can just right click yeah. anywhere and then just go up. And you can just hammer click on where the liege button is. If you start with a really lowly guy, like a count, you might have to click yeah. four times. But you can hammer click that until it stops going through anyone. And that's always the top guy of that country. So that's often cool. the quickest way to get that. So now, checking out the King of France. Oh, he's shrewd. That's a great trait. So, hmm. he has 11.5 thousand troops, right? So if we attacked him, we'd have to fight 11.5 thousand troops, right? Wrong. Mm -hmm. Because he's French, which is Latin, and we're, uh, we're Castilian and... Ha ha ha, you're Castilian culture. <laughs> you're my culture. So, um... When we attack him, all his vassals will get something, a bonus to their opinion of him, called Defending versus Foreigners, which is like plus 40 uh -huh. or something. Uh, so basically, okay. if you check out his vassal tab, all his vassals dislike him, basically. Like, a lot of them dislike him. Yeah. So all of those guys would go from giving him not many troops to quite a lot of troops. So it would actually be quite a bit higher than, uh, than 11,000. But if it was 11,000, we could take him right now. Mm -hmm. so, is there a way to see that true like maximum anywhere um don't know it's just something you kind of have to be aware of i don't think so okay i'm looking at a number which might be it but i don't think it is it so i uh, i shan't say it is i don't okay. think so i don't think so just be right. aware that it will rise basically yeah. And it will rise more the less his vassals like him. Mm -hmm. uh, no, if they like him around zero, then he gets the most benefit out of it, I think. So it's often good to check. So how long do I have to wait for this vassal's level? He's raised too long to go away. Just until it goes to zero? Oh, blimey. I've got some 40 minus 41. Ouch. Yeah, I'm at 35 with one guy. That's why I'm worried about it. Yeah, there's a uh, account in Burgess that's really irritated. I might just assassinate him. But then he's still all like me. Like the lowest opinion guy <laughs> has an opinion of 20. So, we're doing fine. Yeah, uh, it goes away, I'm afraid I... Pissed. Yeah, all I can say is over time. I think it's like one a month or something. Okay. I just don't like being at peace. Well, let's let, let's let our vassals ch calm down and let our troops recover. A big sure. war from the south would still hurt. The only My only okay. thing is, the Amoravids down to the south... Hey, I killed him. Nice. Okay, yep. that's what that was. I had like a pop up for a second, and then it just disappeared. Yeah. Uh, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna kind of help me kill his son? Uh. He's not in your. Place. I don't know about that one. It's not in your interests. <laughs> I don't think so. But his spy master loves me, and he's just on board with everything. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because he's an impaler. Oh, they call it the wilds Ooh, for a, a reason. pretty wench is throwing herself at me. Ah, oh, you can become lusty. I love that one. All right, oh. check out that event. If you choose not to sleep with her, you become chaste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like not sleeping with well, a random woman. I do woman. lose fertility, which would Ran be kind of nice. Yeah. You sleep with a... Oh, no. The murderer revealed my plot. Now that guy hates me. Uh -oh. It's not good. Hmm. Oh, but the, but the guy's willing to try again. I just have to send him some money. He's a bit scared because the plot got found out, but he's, he's in now. We're back up to uh, 249. Ooh, good news. Has let me know that Duke Vela of Garcia will soon have a tragic fall off the castle parapets. 
Oh, Excellent. Very nice. I have now. something with the Pope, it looks like. Oh, They're yeah, f upset about free investiture. Oh, yeah, I said that might happen. I would give in to their demand. Aha! Yeah. Success! It seems know. he has not the yet learned American, how to fly. He died a quick and presumably painless death. Oh. Alright, next. Is this like EU4 where the first uh, the first thing goes? If you don't hit a pop-up in time? Uh, Probably. Okay. I don't know, though. I can shut the gates? Wait, is there a disease here? Not quite, but it's in Santiago, Porto, uh, Coimbra. It's oh, coming. Yeah, it's coming. It. I'm building a hospital. Measles. It's a bit late. It's measles, Jesus. It's a bad one. Uh, I don't know how to build the hospital. How okay, do so I build buildings? Click on Leon. Leon. Oh, I see the slot. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. So that's just for hospitals, forts, and trading posts. Oh, don't worry about trading posts. You can't build them. You could, technically, if you took certain very specific provinces, but that's it's probably outside the scope mm -hmm. of this. So uh, if you click on your castle, though, there's lots of other buildings you can build as well. If I click on This is probably too late, by the way. Oh, this is this is like upgrades, though, right? Yes, yeah. If I hit my castle? Okay. Yeah, uh, but I mean, probably too well, late there's going to be more but, yeah. diseases, right? There are indeed. This guy's nine. I'll, I'm almost certain I'll be able to kill him before he comes of age and has starts having kids. Hey! Success! The hunter did what he paid for and made sure he never returned from the hunting trip. To hunt a man truly is the greatest sport. Alright, next. Is there a reason why I can't move my army? Your army? Yeah. You selected it, and where are you clicking? Uh, I'm just right-clicking on Asturias. De... Obio? I can't read it because it's on... Where's your army? Three-dimensional. Uh, Koruna. Oh, yeah, um, I just banned your army anyway. I don't know why it won't be causing that, but you shouldn't have an army raised. You're just stacking up vassal levies raised too long for no reason. Well, I had a, I had a personal, a retinue, I thought. Oh, your retinue, yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. So, uh, click on Leon. Just right, so it's it, right well, click it's on gone Leon. now. <laughs> I disbanded it. You said disband it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you just disbanded your retinue. <laughs> it shows red in the text when you try and disband it, saying all retinues should be disbanded. But yeah, that's my fault. Yeah. I apologize. Hey! Yeah, no worries. I threw another one off a balcony. <laughs> oh no, the Prince Sancho of Castile's not me. Who is it? Oh, it's my heir. My heir's going to inherit it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I should arrange a marriage for him before he uh, leaves my court. Actually, I need to do that right now. Yeah, I'm just yeah. going to... Because uh, you can't arrange... If people are in your court, you can force them to marry whoever you like. Ooh, is an attractive uh -huh. lass. She's got some okay stats. She's about the right age. She'll do. All right, now let me just kill this last one. Uh, I've decided to you accept this one more, huh? Yep. I want. I want that duchy. <laughs> you can have half. You're getting. You're getting the four province duchy. I'll just take the two. I want Santiago. It's a holy site, don't you know? Is it actually uh -huh. a holy site? Yes, it's a it's a Christian holy site, that province. Oh, I have managed to persuade the Pope I am a benevolent and pious ruler. <laughs> oh, no. The maid I used to smother her just revealed my plot. So I'm a kinslayer. No. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. Get oh, wrecked, noob. Damn it. All right, so I'm a kinslayer. <laughs> this character is known to have slain a close relative, an unforgivable crime in the eyes of God and men alike. Can I... No, I can't kill your daughters. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on a roll. Hey, but I did uh -huh. manage to persuade the Pope I am a pious man. <laughs> Alright, so now my if you check out check out who's leading uh, Galicia. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Your little baby. <laughs> yep, my eleven year old. He's a hunchback. Hey, my wife's pregnant. Who just died? Who's this person? Oh, uh, the old King of Navarra's wife just died in my dungeon, I think. Hmm. <laughs> She's been sitting there for like the last 30 years. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He's warring for more of... All right, okay, let's see if we can jump on this. France is currently What's war... Happening? France is currently at oh. war with the guy to my right. Yeah. So I'm going to go to war with him and try and prevent him from getting it. By declaring war for mm -hmm. the same land that he's currently at war for. Ah, oh, I can't declare war for the same war that he's at, the same land that he's at war for. Darn, darn. And there's also this. Plague. There's a lot of uh, 
this whole measles thing going on over here. Though. Yeah, it's a freaking epidemic. But we have just finished our hospitals. Well, in like 10 seconds. So that's good. Yeah. Wait for it. And uh, now but I'm you've been mostly looking... worried if we worried. went to war. Like, can yeah. I not raise as many troops? Because, um, you know, like manpower would be down sort of thing. I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that. Mm, it looks Some yeah. diseases do, okay. but I don't think it does. Okay. But so now click on the hospital, same as clicking on the castle. Okay. Mm so this is all the upgrades you can build in there. So it's currently level one, which gives oh, you, I see. which protects you zero percent resistance against disease. Disease, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> minor protection against depopulation when you have a disease. What so you can build a sick arrow house. Buttons at the top. Hmm? The arrow button. Oh, it just cycles through all the things you own. Oh, oh okay. No, it doesn't. Maybe it's yeah, actually it's... all the hospitals you own. Hmm. That's probably it. Go into your castle, and then it'll cycle through all of the uh, holdings you have. Which is quite useful. Yeah, that is neat. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so if you built, if you go to the disease map mode, which is uh, just next to the players map mode in the bottom right. Mm -hmm. Now you can mm -hmm. see measles. If you zoom out, you can see that yeah. smallpox is ravaging uh, central Italy and uh, Constantinople at the moment. Any other yep. diseases in the world? Yep, there's a slow fever down in the southern tip of uh, India. So, now, hover oh, over a yep. province next to measles, like Zamora, for example. Mm -hmm. Might get the following diseases. Measles, with an infection weight of 186. Where's that? Oh, hover over, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it? Yeah. So. And what is this infection weight thing? So that's the odds of measles moving there. <clears throat> Now, mm, can't be like a percentage, right? It's like a. I don't. Yeah, it's just a weight chance. I don't know. Higher is more chance. <laughs> and mm. um, provinces bordered by measles on more than one side have a higher chance. A bit. So Karuna, for example, has 175. To Zamora's 186. Mm -hmm. There are lots of other factors. Uh, apparently, uh, I don't know what they are. It spreads along trade routes okay. more often. Uh, spreads around the coast more easily. But yeah, hospitals. Once you have five percent. Mm. You know, once you can build those upgrades, so like 5% more disease resistance. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of useful stuff in here to build, by the way. If there's that red building, that means you have to have another like, higher tier of building, like sick house. So you yeah. can't build anything until you build a sick house. Okay. Uh, the higher levels of hospitals are absurdly expensive, like 5,000 to go up to the, one of the higher levels. It's crazy. It's mm. absolutely crazy. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, hope it doesn't get here. And if it does, we should uh, sh shut the gates. So did the prices change then? I'm assuming because the, the highest I see is like 700. Yeah, so you sick house one costs 300. Then it goes to level two, which yeah. is called something like expanded oh, wards okay. and so on and so on. I see. I'm not... Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Check me out. Right click on my character. I am mm. King Sancho II, the Lion of Castile. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Not like my, uh, you know. I feel my, like that should be my title. Not like my bookish brother over here, King Alfonso the Wise. Bah. Bah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I was focusing on that. Or no, I'm, work I'm focusing on war. Are you? Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. Maybe it's because I lead, I, uh, I've lead, led combat directly. Ooh, you're lagging slightly. Ooh. Oh, my. Internet's having a hiccup. Hmm. That's odd. It seems to have uh, sorted itself now. Let's see if we can carry on at speed three. Now, basic, generally speaking, it's almost never a good idea to build improvements to your land unless you have loads of money because you always get more mm. benefit out of just taking extra land than you do out of building mm. buildings. All right, how are we doing troop-wise? I want to go to war. <laughs> I'm really hyper aggressive in CK2 because there's uh -huh. no because there's no coalitions. At least when you turn them off, there are no coalitions. <laughs> they were a fairly recent addition. Hmm. I'm really not intent. So uh, let's talk about forming new titles. Hey, I had another son. Oh, that's not good. I have, I have new important decisions as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can hold a grand tournament. Nice. 
Hooray, I can change my government type. Oh, okay. it's just prestige. Okay. Yeah, and then a bunch of people fight at the tournament, and when it ends, everyone in your realm gets like a plus 20 or 10 opinion bonus with you. It's a good thing to do when you oh, first okay. come into your rule, because it lets you quickly get some prestige, and it makes everyone like you a bit better. Mm -hmm. Also, there's other things on that list, like holding a feast. Those aren't useless. Mm -hmm. Holding a feast, for example, every time you do it, raises a prosperity in your capital council, in your capital duchy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, county. I'm doing it right now. Incidentally, I'm also going to repay mm -hmm. the Jews, I think. Yeah, yeah just... I might as well. I have the money. I might expel them. Th I might um, repay the debt and then expel them. Maybe I'm 46. I'm quite ill. I'm tempted to become arbitrary just to get a whole bunch of money off the Jews. Might borrow and then expel them. Because everyone already likes me. I'm going to do it. I'm borrowing some money and then I'm kicking out the jury. There we go. Mm. It shall go to the crown. I now have 700 ducats. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to spend that on a hospital. <clears throat> yeah. So, this promote commander and, like, invite holy man and stuff, it's adding people that I can use in my court, I'm assuming. Yeah. You, didn't you give me like some money earlier? Like, for council and stuff? Didn't you give me some money earlier? Uh, I think, maybe? I just gave you 200. I don't actually remember. I just gave you 200 ducats. Yeah, I see that. Cool. Cool. You could buy, buy, build a hospital, <laughs> get some sick wards going. I managed it when I was playing mm -hmm. as uh, <clears throat> Sweden. One of the cool things you can do as the Norse characters when you start an earlier start date is like go on Viking raids. It's awesome. Mm. I'm going to. Ooh, hello, Baroness of Castrobre. I would like to show you my whole castle, including the bedchamber. <laughs> Taking some random, random woman up to my chambers. Apparently, what could go wrong? Oh yes, I'm also going to... Uh, you can probably do this now as well. Uh, if your vassals like you enough. Ooh, all except mm. one. So if you check out laws under inheritance... Yes. You've got... Uh, oh, those, those went green now. Yes, I just so looked at those like a second ago. Yeah, it's been ten years. <clears throat> oh, okay. So in your primary... Uh, if, if, you, if you hover over elective monarchy, is it like... is it with, Has it got a green tick? Uh, I can do... Agnatic, I can do elective, gavel, kind, seniority, and elective monarchy. Okay, awesome. So, if you hover over the conditions, it says for elective monarchy, has reigned at least ten years, at peace, no regency, not a voice royal, not a voice royalty, no vassals fight each other, no vassal counter or above has a negative opinion of you. Now, notice that the guy in Portugal does. He doesn't like you. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Check out the guy in, check out the guy in, uh, in Portugal. He's got measles. Yeah, he's he's. He's having an issue over he's there. A he's a lunatic. man with measles. He's got smallpox, and a, he's a lunatic, and he's a, got measles. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. <laughs> uh, the guy has a hard life. Yeah, smallpox can off, very often give you the lunatic trait. Being a lunatic's amazing, mm. by the way. It's absolutely amazing. You oh, pass really? these random acts that make everyone in the country dislike you. There's one called, like, the Pants Act. You ban trousers. And it's <laughs> <that's> great. <laughs> It's great. They're amazing. There's also a Secession of Violence Act, in which you ban like all violence. There's also one where you appoint Glitterhoof as your Chancellor, a horse. <laughs> and then you actually spawn a horse character that becomes your Chancellor. Through some really clever maneuvering, it's possible to make it so that you can have kids with your horse. Hmm. And then you can play as a horse. It's amazing. <laughs> that would be pr pretty great. Now, I can like, make decrees and laws as a horse. Yeah, you just play as the horse, like any other <laughs> character, except they have minus 10 to all their stats. <laughs> that's, that's pretty great. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Why did I pause it? I know there's a reason. Oh, yeah, you were making laws, right. So I'm going to go to elected monarchy, mm. because it's the best. I don't I don't remember And I'm going to nominate. There's not a very good description on these. Is oh, there no, not? No, wait, okay, there it is. I was reading the red... Red stuff. I ah, see, that yes. Like, so, changes, Primogenitor no. is the safe one, but you can't do that yet. No. Elective Gavelkind is better than Gavelkind, just because you get to pick which which kid. You definitely don't want to yeah. get seniority, or I'll inherit your title. <laughs> yeah. um, Ultramogenitor you also can't get yet. So, Elective Monarchy is the best bet right now. Yeah. Not for you, basically. So, I'd go yeah, with that. Sounds right. Yeah, and then once you've... Once you've have you done that yet? Yeah. Sure. Okay, now you see you can it. nominate, right? There's a bunch of options. Hmm. One of those options is me. 
I don't yeah, recommend I'm nominating. Gonna say no. I don't, yes, I don't recommend nominating me. But uh. note that if your vassals liked me enough, and one of them likes me quite a lot, they would prefer yeah. me and they'd put me in charge. So be careful. Okay. Right, let's have a pause. Oh, we picked a, picked a sun. I... It's under laws. Domain okay. is too big now. You're, uh, you may be over your domain limit now because you... Um... Because you... Um... Ta -ta -ta. Just didn't... Just ceased to be gavel kind, which decreases your oh. domain limit. Let's check. Yeah, you're one over at the moment. Oh, you're stressed. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Bad luck. Yeah, does men is too big. Yeah. Okay. So let's sort that out. So mm. now, there are a couple of decisions that you should make right now. Do we think you we want your primary duchy to be Lyon? So if you go into the duchies map mode, and zoom out a little bit. Mm. Sure, key. Is your duchies? I. Yep. Yeah. So you see, uh, you basically your options are Lyon and Barajos. So Barajos, you've got that's mm. got four provinces in it, right? That's a good number for yes, a primary duchy. Yes, three. Yeah. So the, the same thing applies about duchies as it does about kingdoms in terms of desiring stuff. If your primary duchy is Barajos, then no one in Barajos mm -hmm. will desire the duchy. But since you own all the land in Barajos, you could just hold that anyway, and no one would ever desire it. What? There was a map mode to see which ones I own, right? Yeah, I don't diplomatic. Which one it was. Uh, e. Okay, yep, yourself. there it is. Yeah. Also, you can tell because it's the ones that don't have little heraldries on them. Smaller ones than your big mm -hmm. one. So, um, what I would do is get rid of Salamanca, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Holding whole duchies is good. Another good thing is holding land that you don't hold the duchy title for. You gain mm. virtually nothing for holding the duchy title for Barajos. Because currently, the Duke of Barajos is the ruler of the Aphasid Emirate. No, that's that one. Where is he? He's also the Emirate. Okay, the guy to the west. Right? The Aphasid guy. He currently mm -hmm. has the duchy title. But that doesn't matter. He can declare war over it, but he can declare war over it anyway because he's a religious enemy. Yeah. So, uh, in the next video, I will show you how to properly hand out land. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I'm starting to figure things out, I think. <laughs> I think I'm so. starting to make decisions on my own. <laughs> so, yeah. that's good. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.